hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a preview of the upcoming Asian Confederation World Cup qualifier between Japan and Oman. This AFC qualifier will be played at the Suita City Football Stadium, known as the Panasonic Stadium Suita, I believe, for sponsorship reasons. It's the home of Gamba Osako in the J-League. Let's so look at our squads. I'll be playing as Japan, just by nature of them being the home team here. As our squads line up for the national anthem, let's take another look around the home of Gamba Osaka before we pause for the national anthem. shake hands. Let's take a look at our starting lineups. For Japan, a couple notables. Osako up front. Scored a bucket of goals already in his World Cup qualifiers. And Minamino behind him, the Liverpool man. Here's a look at the Oman squad. Sonic Stadium Suita. Here's our AFC Asian Confederation Molten Ball under Osako's boot. It's here off. Osako plays his club football at Vissel Kobe. Uh, I think they've been notable in my part of the world because they, uh, I can't remember how many years ago at this point, two or three years ago, maybe more than that, um, acquired Andres Iniesta. Of course, longtime Barcelona player and uh, the goal scorer in the 2010 World Cup final that was held in South Africa. In extra time with just minutes to spare before a penalty shootout. He has already scored a ton in these World Cup qualifiers. Minamino, of course, very dangerous, plays his club football with Liverpool in England. So I'm gonna have my work cut out for me. A strong take there. Strong challenge. Bad pass there allows me to take possession back for the Japanese side. I 
thing going here. If I can get them moving from side to side a bit. Maybe something will open up. Goodness. Well, they're doing a good job of sitting deep and collapsing on me, so I'll have my work cut out for me, no doubt. Hard to blame them with the Sako and Miyamino up front there. At these modded stadiums, sometimes you get an awkward view like this on the replays. Hopefully it doesn't detract from the experience too much. I certainly enjoy having the authentic stadiums. There are 730-some stadiums included with the virtual red patch. Most of those are modded in. Pull him back a ways, stretch him out a little bit. Oh, that worked, but the pass let me down. <laughs> Let's see if I try that again, if he'll still uh, remember how that worked. Uh, definitely dominated the possession. Roman has parked the bus, if you will, so had a hard time making much of it. Let's see if that continues, or if I can break through here in the second half of the Japanese side. Looks like I got a little more room than I've been getting used to. Oh, bad pass there. off sides. No? Alright, well in that case, there's a goal for Osako, the Bissell Kobe man. Yeah, I do think he was onside when that ball was played. He was he was kind of drifting there. Oh, yeah, I think off off the screen of that replay, that defender that was further out to Osaka's right still had him onside there. It was close for sure. All right, a one nil lead for Japan. This World Cup, of course, is going to be played in the Asian Federation, hosted by Qatar. We played in the fall of 2022. Normally, the World Cup, of course, played in the summer due to the extreme heat of the Qatari nation in the summertime. They're going to move it to the fall. I think it's going to be played from about mid-November to mid-December. Strike. It's Osako again. The brace for Osako. Another unfortunate replay angle here. Here, hopefully, at an angle that we can actually see. Nothing but room. Goalie got fingers to it. It wasn't all the way in the corner, but enough pace to get it by him. I am curious about the uh, kickoff times for this upcoming World Cup. I live in the U.S., and I have uh, watched every World Cup since 94, but the 2002 World Cup, which was hosted by Japan and South Korea, is certainly the one I watched the least of, uh, simply because of the time difference. I was in college at the time, and I seem to remember that 
all the when all the games were starting so early because it's a I think about a 12 hour time difference all the games were kind of played overnight or very early in the morning so I was either still a sh still asleep or in class when games were kicking off so I don't know if I imagine Qatar is maybe not quite as far ahead so it may be a little a little easier to catch those games. I am certainly a lot busier in the summer than I am in the fall with, with my job, so having it moved into the fall may also help me catch a little more of it than I would otherwise. It be a little easier to take a, some half days off work and, and watch some World Cup before I go in. Making a run here. Off the post. Oh, my. They had everyone beat but the keeper. The keeper comes off his line, closes off the angle, and does enough to send it wide off the post. Appears to be disappointed. <laughs> up 2 0 in the 90th minute. The Japanese side is pretty safe here. I would imagine the Japanese side would be a, a favorite in this game uh, simply because they're one of the, the stronger football sides in Asia and, of course, because they're at home. We shall see in the coming days. Will the 2-0 the victory I've come up with today, will that be the scoreline? Will this be the result? We shall see. Let's take a look at our replays here. Um, I have some unfortunate angles here again, but we didn't see most of it. Osako, the Vissel Kobe striker, gets the brace in my preview today. The second there, just, or that was the first, just slid by the goalkeeper. Here's the second goal. It wasn't all the way in the corner. Keeper got fingers to it, but couldn't get enough of a hand on it to keep it out. Just want to say thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give the video a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, I've got match of the week previews from several leagues I follow as well as for many other World Cup qualifiers on my channel. You can subscribe for more of that content. I've also got a series of international replays of old cup fixtures, uh, Champions Leagues, World Cups, the various continental tournaments and such. So either of those types of content interest you, subscribe for much more of that. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.